Have a few too many unused suppliers on your lookup list? Are some of these suppliers duplicates or old suppliers you have not used in ages? In this video, we will provide some best practices on how to clean up and maintain your list of suppliers. The first cleanup option we will look at is how to change a supplier code. First, select your company and your subledger, then select your supplier code. You can make adjustments to the supplier name and other details as needed. Then click the new slash merge code button. In the pop-up, click OK. In the new code will be field, enter the new supplier code and click enter on your keyboard. Click OK and the supplier code will now be updated. You can also merge duplicate suppliers. This can be done by selecting the supplier code you want to merge with an existing code. At this point, you will also want to make sure you take note of the supplier code you want to merge this code with. Then click the new slash merge code button. In the new code will be field, enter the code of the duplicate supplier and click enter on your keyboard. In the pop-up window, select merge and delete. This will merge the two suppliers and delete the original supplier code, i.e. the code you currently have open. Alternatively, you can choose to merge the codes, then delete the old code later. If you select Merge and Delete, another pop-up will confirm that you're about to merge the specified suppliers and which supplier code will be deleted. Click Yes to continue and click OK to save. If you have multiple companies, you can copy a supplier from one company to another instead of having to recreate it for each applicable company. To copy a supplier, select the company and subledger that you want to copy the supplier to. In the lookup list, click the copy button. Optionally select the from company, which is the company you will be copying the supplier from, and use the from subledger and from supplier fields to select the specific supplier. Alternatively, click show all and select the supplier you would like to copy. You can also use the search field and click Start Search to narrow down your search. After selecting the supplier you would like to copy, click the Copy button, then click OK to save. If you want to automatically copy a new supplier code across all your companies, you can flag a setting in Accounts Payable, Files, an AP subledger setup. Select your company and subledger, then click Options. In the user options, you want to flag copy suppliers to subledgers. Moving forward, new supplier codes will automatically be copied across companies that have the same subledger code. Click OK to save. Now let's take a look at how to deactivate and delete suppliers. In order to know which suppliers should be deactivated or deleted, you can run a report to view a list of inactive suppliers by navigating to Accounts Payable, Files, and List of Inactive Suppliers. Select your company as well as your subledger and set the Show Suppliers Not Used Since date. Include deletion eligibility. If flagged, a column will be added to the report to indicate if the supplier can be deleted. Click OK to view the report. Now that you have the report containing suppliers not used since the selected date, you can deactivate those suppliers by navigating to Accounts Payable, Files, and Maintain Suppliers. Select your company and subledger and select the supplier. Then go ahead and change their status from active to inactive and click OK to save. This will remove the supplier from the lookup list. You will still be able to view all of their history, but they will no longer appear on reports. You can always toggle the lookup list to view inactive suppliers, and you can always reactivate suppliers when needed. If you want to delete suppliers, you can delete them after AP history has been cleared. For more information on how to clear AP history, watch the video titled Archive and Purge AP History. To delete suppliers, navigate to Accounts Payable, Files, and Delete Suppliers. This is a two-step process which will generate a list of all suppliers with no history on file beyond a certain date that can be deleted. 
Select your company and subledger and select a date to delete suppliers not used since that date. Then go ahead and click OK. This will produce a list of suppliers that have not been used on or before the date you entered. You can filter which suppliers you see by choosing a specific status or a purchase category. There are several options to move suppliers from the left pane to the right pane deletion list. You can double click on the supplier, click and use the control key on your keyboard to select multiple suppliers, then click and drag them into the right pane or click the arrow. Select a range of suppliers using the shift key on your keyboard or click all to move all suppliers. All of the suppliers on the right will be deleted. To remove a supplier from the deletion list on the right pane, double click that supplier. Then you can preview the report of the suppliers to be deleted and then update to permanently delete and clear out those suppliers. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.